Today we are launching out of Little Huia. This small Manako Harbour town has a good beach launching option which is the closest ramp to the Manako heads. With a good weather window and regular reports of snapper being caught over the bar, we made the call to head out wide and see if the west would provide. Welcome to the mighty Manako. Yeah, we're just here in the harbour entrance. Um, first time here so we're pretty yeah. excited. Yeah, really excited actually. So uh, we're going to head out over the bar. Before we do that though, we're going to get on the blower to the Coast Guard, let them know what we're up to and how many POV, etc. And then uh, we'll catch up with you guys on the other side. Hopefully some snapper and gurnard. Coast Guard Radio, Coast Guard Radio, this is Motley Crew. Go ahead, your message, order. Oh, yeah, we have three POV. We're about to head out over the Manukau Bar. Um, and we will contact you when we get on the other side. Thank you, Motley Crew. I have you outside over the Manukau Bar with three POV. And we'll talk to you when you see Johnny outside. Coast Guard Radio, clear. He's leading the burly down. We've stopped off. It's 50 metres of water. We've got the anchor down. And uh, you got it to the bottom there, Meg? Yep. Put the burly all the way to the bottom. Yep. And we'll be dropping a few flasher rigs down, and uh, Scott's made a good job of tangling his one up. Yep, already got one tangled. That'll pack it. <laughs> but um, I think we'll, before we get into our fishing, we need to get straight into the Milwaukee Challenge and consequence. The challenge is not to catch a shark, and if you do, the consequence is to fish with a $25 kid's rod for one hour. It's a good thing to check when you're getting your, getting your flasher rigs that there's, there's recurve hooks and there's J-hooks and you fish them different, so recurve hooks, just a slight lift, J-hooks, you can strike like a coal miner. This time, thank you. Oh, yep. What have we got, mate? Oh, hopefully shark? not a sharky shark. Sharky shark? Nah, mate. Should be a snap. Oh, is it a snapper? Should be a lovely West Coast oh, snap. Either way, I'm happy, but um, we're hoping we get to sharks so we can fish with the kids' rod. I don't really want to fish with the kids' rod. No, mate. But there are a lot of sharks here on the West Coast. That's why we sort of had this challenge. Um, it's pretty hard to go through a day's fishing on the west coast without <laughs> catching a shark. Oh, the shark or about a thousand car walks, eh? Well, yeah, but in particular sharks. Lots of different types of shark. This is uh, hopefully a carpet shark. You dropped it. No, it's still there. No, it's still there. This would be a carpet no, it's not, shark. It's not, it's not huge. It's a car wire. Uh, the... Two car wire. Oh, two car wire. Ah, oh, bloody Double car Double car mig. Hey, get him in. No way, mate. That's right. Hey, what did you just say? Jeez. Car wires and snapper. <laughs> car wires and sharks. Car wires and sharks. Yes. Been a double car line. Double car wire for Oh, mate, there's nothing wrong with two cars like that. Look at the size of them. Yeah. Well, there's a bait for the rest of the day. Yep. Some nice fresh car wire bait. Which we're not going to complain with. It didn't feel like. Yeah, you dealt with them on that Maybe. top of this game, mate. Yeah, just mow them up. Yeah. Fishing's like that here. And pop them on the head and hopefully turn some of these into some snaps. And sharks for me. He's biting. A bit hard to tell on the old mono, but oh, here he goes. Yep, and lift of the recurve hook. Lift of the recurve hook. Feels like a gurned mig. I'm on. Yep, oh yeah, here comes the weight. Oh, come on, be a snaps. Come on, be a shark. You love a shark. Oh, he's fighting like a shark. Go on. Oh no, that's nodding like a, oh. Like a car wire snap? I love fishing with mono sometimes. It's so old school but fun. Can't quite, don't quite know what you got on like you do with braid. You can sort of, there's a lot of stretch in mono, so it's hard to feel the every thump and bump of the fish. I think you'll find I've got a snapper on here, my friend. Ooh, he's making the call. Yep. 
Oh, that's good. I'm playing with the snapper. No, that's what we're here to get. Good bit here it comes. Got a bit of colour there. There's a gurn and snap. Oh, it is a snapper. Ah, oh, good stuff. Oh, it's all right. First snapper for the morning, and it's not a bad sized one. Beauty. Mean. Hopefully that's just the smaller of the size, eh, Miggy? Exactly. We're in, hopefully getting some big ones in that. It's a nice eating size fish, so we'll pop that one in the bin. West Coast snapper on the squid. Yes. Oh yeah, he's in. That's a good eat. Mig's wow. onto something a bit better here. Hopefully, Putting a good bend hopefully in the a snapper. Oh, is it a Have shark? Go, oh, that's it's not, not a shark. It's not a shark. Come on, shark. We'll just see the little kids rod doubled over. Didn't take <laughs> much to double it over. No way. Looks like a good fish either way, Michael. Yep. West Coast fishing at its best, just bloody hooning out, dropping the anchor, dropping some baits, and uh, you're into it. Keep an eye on the uh, Met Service or Swell Map, and you oh, find a nice spot. And I'm in. Straight and the away. Scott's in. Just got to the bottom. I was just trying to get out of Mig's way, and I'm hooked up. Feels like a snapper just rolling the hook into the corner of his mouth there. And we're on, and we we'll come up tight. There's good weight there. This could be a big fish. They do this sometimes, they start a little bit sort of tentative. Oh, have I got oh, you now, Mike? Yeah, oh, yeah, right. Go around there. You might have a car wire on there. No, oh, it's you got a snap. Oh, we've got each other. Ooh. That's a nice fish you've got there, my friend. Ooh. How are we going to get this going, Mick? Oh, no. Lift it in, lift it in. I oh, will sort it out. I've got recurve hooks on. Oh, oh, nice fish, mate. Get him in the boat. Come on, mate. Oh, there yes. Get him in the gills because we're keeping him. Hang on, I've still got a fish on here. This is another common occurrence of the West Coast tangles. Fishing at anchor. Oh, I've got to get that slack back up. My fish is coming off. Oh, I might have just dropped off. Oh, no, it's still there. We'll get it. Get it. Get it. It's not a massive fish because it's not yanking the line out of my hands. That's one good thing about fishing with mono is that they've got a lot of stretch in the line, and mono combined with recurve hooks, very rarely will you drop fish. I mean, it'll still happen, but most of the time you get the fish hooked in the corner of the mouth, 98% of the time. And then with the mono stretching, it gives a little bit of give, so when a fish shakes its head, it's, it's harder for the fish to uh, shake the hook out. So, and we mucked around for about you know, three or four minutes there trying to undo that tangle, and got it undone, and the fish is still on. So, uh, it's a good advertisement for fishing mono and recurves if you don't like losing fish. It's feeling like a shark. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Have fun with that, uh... Oh, why didn't it drop off? <laughs> why didn't it drop off? Drop off, drop off, drop off. Oh, I'll oh. lift that in for you if you like. No. It's hooked nice in the corner of the mouth with your recurve hook. No. <laughs> no. A, a shark oh, there, Where is yeah, it? Yeah, never mind that. Get rid of recurve hooks. Get rid of mono. <laughs> you stupid shark, stay on. <laughs> there you go, sir. Hang on. Let's just deal with this stupid thing first. Oh, drop off. Oh, he's well hooked. It's a lovely West Coast shark there. And there's that recurve hook in the corner of the mouth, unfortunately, staying in there. So, kids rod calling your name. Whoa! Oh, gee, he nearly got me then. Ah, see you later, friend. All right, I'll put the tropo and the marquisa down. It was lovely for a couple of fish. And now I'll pick up the old kids rod. Where is it, Vic? There it is. Oh, your flasher are gone, mate. Here we go. She'll be all right. <laughs> $25. Stoked. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Oh, yeah. I'll get one. It's another double whammy. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we come to the West Coast. We're fishing for snapper and gurnard out over the Manukau Bar. <laughs> $25. With well, the consequence of fishing with a kid's rod for catching a shark and a couple of nice snapper already in the bin, things are just starting to heat up. I'll put that, like, mm, shark repellent on. Did you just? Pretty sure, was it kerosene? The guys <laughs> used to put on out of the west coast, put on their, their soak their boats and the... kerosene, uh, baits and kerosene to stop the sharks. Soak from their them. boats and kerosene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, soak. Yeah. You just get the bottom That'll of work. the boat, soak yeah, it in yeah, kerosene. Soak it in kerosene. Uh, soak, they used to soak their baits in kerosene to stop the, stop the sharks from getting around, but... I think, you've been listening I, think, to, I think you've been listening to too many old wives, my friend. I think it was your old dad, actually, that told me that one. My old dad. And then he went out, tried it, got nothing, and then yeah, called right. him a bunch of lies. Oh, yeah, so. soaked in diesel, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, there you go. But well, that's, that's another 
mean, mean fishes as far as coming out oh, and catching yeah, a feed. Oh, yeah, there's a one. Come on. And she's all go. Oh. Not monster territory, but it's still a respectable snapper on the Jarvis Walker Zenith. And uh, what Jesus, is this? Your hook's about to fall out. What is this rod? Oh, it's a Zenith as well. Yeah? That's a bin worthy fish, that one, Mick. Look at that, eh? Brilliant. Oh, no. oh yes, good fish, Mick. There's a big, big white there. Oh! Is that a shark? Oh, it better not be a shark. It's feeling oh, yeah, like I'm a shark on. at the moment. Oh, the kid's rod. Oh, my little kid's rod. What do you got, Mick? Shark at this stage, mate. Oh, yeah, sharky time. Switch over soon, Mick, then, that means. It does. I don't want a shark. You've only just dropped down. You're alive. You, you... Look what you have to contend with, mate. I'm at the bottom. I've just got my line to play with here. Oh. Oh, Mig. What is this? Is it nodding? No, not really. Would you like to do the switcheroo with me? Oh, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. All right, you. Oh, I'm going to be around the burly pot in no time. The four kilo mono stretches like a stretchy thing, like a rubber band. Oh, beautiful. Is it a fish, Mig? Is it a shark or a snapper? Oh, I can't tell. This oh, stage. Make at it this call. stage, I'll still make it call, mate. I reckon it's a shark. I've told you, I reckon it's a shark. Okay, okay. But it could quite easily be a nice big snaps, too. Gee, it could easily be a nice big snaps. It's a bold call. You don't know what it is, do you? Well, it's the... It is the West Coast. This is why we fish. Ah! Nice. Either way, gotta love it when a fish is pulling line. Oh. Yep, got him. Oh. <laughs> Get him off the bottom, friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, I might have dropped it. Might be a string pulling gurnard. Oh, it's still there, whatever it is. This is the West Coast, and I'm fishing with a $25 kid's rod. Oh, this is a good fish, whatever this is, mate. Hopefully, it's a snaps. I hope it's this a snap. This is a snaps. This is a bloody epic. I mean, I'm picking you're going to catch a shark, a shark anyway later on. I'll be changing this over, so. Yeah. Either way, if it's a shark or a snapper, we need to get out of the way because they make a mess when they get to the boat. And if it's a snapper, I need to net the living F out of it. Oh, yeah, my bait's been stripped. Here it comes. Jeez. Oh, it's just... a snaps. Is it? It's a snaps, oh! mate. Oh, 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 yeah, good snap, oh, oh, my friend. Mate. There's no shark there, mate. <laughs> Get that sucker in the net. Come right. on, fella. Come on, fella. Yeah, he's a beast, Mickey. <laughs> That's why we come to the ooh, West Coast. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mean. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's oh, pretty mean. Killer. After 25 after minutes of fishing. Literally, without a word of a yeah. lie, 25 <laughs> minutes of fishing. We'll get that guy on the scales and let him go, oh, I think, Rick. Yeah. So you've mowed him up so he's got plenty of life. We're not going to muck around. Took yeah. the, took the mullet on the bottom hook. Hooked right through the mouth and through the other side, so there was no way he was coming off. And uh, Scott will just grab the camera. A couple of pictures. Well, what if I could find it? Where do you put yeah. it? We'll get him back in the water. Hopefully he swims away. Let's go. Pump some water through his gills. Wait for him to give it a bit of a kick. Yep, there he goes. Not a trouble in the world. Nice one, mate. I'm gonna get on the kids rod now. <laughs> Here you go. Yee-hoo! Mig's in. Fighting chance. Get him, Mig. There's my fish. In my kids rod. Yep, that's how I roll. All right, what have we got? Get him in, Mig. Hopefully get not a shark, in, because I don't want to fish with a little rod. I hope it is a shark. Shark it time. Oh, here it comes. Snaps. Snaps, mate. Net worthy snaps. Oh, they're two. Two snaps. Oh, double whammy. That's still nice ones. <laughs> oh, you probably lift them in, eh? Oh, yeah, mate. We'll do. Nice heavy trace. She's another double whammy. Nice it's a double West Coast whammy. special. Oh, <laughs> mean, <laughs> man. Woo! That's crazy. I'm not going to complain mate, about that one little bit. Mate, that's my hour up on the uh, kids rod, mate. Oh, you reckon? Yep. She just yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give oh, you she's that. She's just gone. Look at that. She's just gone uh, 11 o'clock, and that was my hour for the kids' rod. So uh, yeah. I can now fish with a normal rod again. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, but there, obviously, nice the uh, there, consequence rules still apply. So if someone catches the shark again, then we're back into it again. Hopefully not me. Hopefully this guy. Nah, mate. I'm you are I'm the slapper slayer, slayer, aren't you? Yep. Right. Double fist pump, double whammy. Mm. Holy heck, Mick, is this a shark or a beast this of a snapper? Hopefully a nice big snap. It's snapper time out from Monaco, and we are fishing with bait and flasher rigs at the 50 metre mark. The bite has been red hot. Yeah! 
<laughs> and now the big snapper have decided to make an appearance. Oh, yep, some good one on here. What do you got, Mick? Good weight? Yep. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right, it's all right. This guy's just, just shy of pulling a little bit of line. Could be a car because I'm pretty sure it got me on the way down. I don't know, I was paying attention. These tropo rods are awesome. Hey, Mick. Yeah, great. Not only do they look cool, they got some serious grunt and just a nice, real nice action, eh? Yeah. Not too far from Auckland. I reckon I've got Mr. Carlito here, Mick. Judging by this yeah. little frantic action at the end here. Oh, it's a little bit red. Oh, he's red just. Oh, yeah, double whammy. Nice. Nice double whammy. Nice double whammy. You want to lift right. them in? Oh, I'll lift them in, mate. That's a, that's a classic West Coast double whammy right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, mate. I don't even get a chance to get to the bottom. They just come, come up and smash it on the way down. Hungry feckers. Woo! That hurt. Mean fishing. Both these guys will probably go, you right, Mick? Yep. You doing a, bit of, a bit of a fist pump. Oh, a fist pump dance, wasn't well, it? Well, it's a fist pump moment, mate. Double fist pump, double whammy. Then, give me a hand. <laughs> you get that melt away from me, mate. <laughs> you remember what happened last time? You piece of money. <laughs> Oh, that's a beast. Mick's got a beast. Good thing size fish on as well. <laughs> that's the one I just dropped, you <laughs> Oh, Tiawahi. Oh, Tiawahi. Hell, Biscayne Tropo's dominating them today, isn't he? He is. Ooh. Holy heck, Mick, is this a shark or a beast this of a snap? Hopefully, a nice big snaps. She'll be a beast if it is. He's pulling some serious string. Yep. I feel comfortable with those recurve hooks on. That is a very good fish, Mick. Any idea what bait you've got on? Or what do you want to call them on? Oh, uh, yep. Uh, well, it could be I've got a nice fresh bit of kawai yep. on my top hook and yep. then a, a dirty bit of mullet on my bottom hook. Oh, you found some mullet, did you? I bet, it, bet it's on the dirty old bit of mullet. But, but we'll wait and see. I won't go down until you get up. This is a nice fish. I'll, t I'll do net duties. Thanks, mate. That's all right, mate. Oh, we'll be coming up soon. Yeah, dog, I'll be right. It's floating up to the surface. It's the a snapper then. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh yep, he's a snap. He's a snap, snap. Oh, <laughs> is he a beast? He's a beast, all right. Oh, Mick, has he got to fit in the net? Right, for me. Look at the size of this guy. <laughs> Get in the net, you big sucker. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's nice. A, that's, a, that's the next step up from the last oh, one, I even. I think it was. Oh, Mick. <laughs> Cheers for the net, mate. That's all right, my friend. It's a stunner and... Ah, knives going everywhere. And guess what? Woo! On the nice, fresh bit of kawai. Was it just? Pick him up so I can hold him properly. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, he's got some stunning colours too. They're a bit pale, but that's because they're living out over the sand. And I'm quite glad I got that on the... On the bait teaser and the and the tropo, that was a lovely set to catch this nice big snapper with. Get it out of the water for too long. And, and there he goes. And he kicks away. Mean, mean fish. In the kids' rod. Nice fish. What's a noise fish, mate? Pretty sure I've got a copy here, Mick. What do you got? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I can see it. Hey, it's a good one! Oh, 
not far up. Hey, it's about, about time. time. Bloody hell. Nice. It's only been all day waiting for a gooner to turn up. Yep. Oh, and what do you know? Ah, it's what do you not, know? What have it's I got? not a huge one, but it's uh, certainly going to be a nice addition to the bin. <laughs> so just not a shark on. Uh, nice. Uh, that's just what I wanted. You love catching sharks, don't you? Oh, today I do. You should get this raspy towel in around you. Yeah, no, no thanks. <laughs> I've got a carpet shark. I've got it's a not ideal. I've got a lovely gun. Oh, yeah. Get me the hook back. Good stuff. Ah, oh, he's got me with his rasp. Ah, oh, get away from it. Look at him. Oh, well, there's he go. There you go. Some snapper and gurnard on them out from Manukau. We did yeah. what we said we were going to do. Yeah, it was good. Not very often we can say that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just basically said to Meg, look, mate, I'll take care of the sharks <laughs> and the smallest snapper. You, you yeah. sort out the, the uh, biggest snapper and then please sort out a gurnard. And what did he do? He delivered. Look at that. You, know, you can count on him. Got my hook back. That's a carpet shark. You don't need to look at that anymore. He can go back in the drink. Yeah, See you, mate. Have fun swimming down slowly as you do. <laughs> Mr. Gurney, though, he's going in the bin. <laughs> he sure is. We're going home. Yep. All right. But it's been a choice day. Awesome day at Alpha Minico. And we'll catch you guys next week. Adios. Amigos. <laughs> amigos. Oh, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> What's wrong with amigos? I don't know. It's amigos. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all amigos. Adios and then amigos. Yeah, they're, they're amigos. Comprende. Si. No. Now, here is your chance to win our awesome weekly prize pack brought to you by Radio Haraki. And this week's prize pack is a Logitech UE Boom water resistant speaker system, a Milwaukee heated hoodie, a pair of Dirty Dog polarized sunglasses, a Finor and Jarvis Walker tackle pack, and a 12 month subscription to NZ Bayfisher magazine. For your chance to win, remember this code word, head over and like our Facebook page for a second code, then tune into Haraki Breakfast Monday mornings for your cue to call. We proudly use Finor tackle, Surtees boats, Honda outboards, and Garmin Electronics. Oh, yep, yeah, he's got him. <laughs> Smashed. That's a cracker of a fish on top yeah. water.